tight-lit Zoom calls and some grainy virtual classes, it may be time to invest in some technology that will improve your video quality. Here to tell us more about that, 7 News' is Christine Scarpelli. She's live with we the tech so. expert with advice on how to take yeah. your screen time to the next level. We like that. We think so. Yeah, this has been blowing my mind this morning. This has been such a helpful morning. Phil Yanov making it so. Tech after five here in Greenville, but all over the state. You host these uh, social gatherings talking tech. This morning we're talking about how to improve these awful Zoom calls that are lit poorly and then they're shooting up your nose. We're going to do a little demo, guys. I hope you're watching. Phil yeah. here. This is our number one mistake, right? POW, three, two, one, something <laughs> like that. But the, oh my goodness, what is it? I look like I'm in the witness protection program. So we're facilitating like a window. You've set up in front of a window. There's a bright light behind you. It's totally blowing you out, Phil. You can't I, even see. I hope it's a window behind it. Sometimes it's like the camera's pointed up and it's picking two bright lights up behind you, oh, right? No. We just don't like that for the look. Because the thing is, we are used to seeing people's faces, right? right. We count on looking at their eyes. So we, are you paying attention to me? Do you agree with me? Am I doing this right or wrong? You know, give me that little view. But if I can't see your face, I don't know what you're thinking. I don't know what you're doing. And it makes the conversation so much harder. And you're distracted. You're not listening to what they're saying. Like you said, they're worried about why does he look so dark, right? Same as if you're shooting up your nose. Yeah. I, like I said, every time I always think witness protection program. What are you trying to hide from me if you won't let me see your face, right? Very good. Same with audio, right? Hearing. You've got a couple tricks that can make it a little easier to hear you. We want you to have good audio, so actually having a decent set of headphones, perfect way to fix this problem, right? And you can hear, that's a microphone in there. So there's, yeah, that's right. It's, you can be hear, heard because of its microphone, but you can actually put these on very comfortable, wear these all day if you need to, and you can hang out on your Zoom calls. But don't be doing this. Makes a lot of sense. Wow. Again, don't have bright light behind you when you make the call, whether that's a window or, again, a bright light, whatever it is. Have that light facing you like this light is on me. Facing your face. Yeah. We yeah. want to see you, Phil. We right. want to see you. You know, it's natural <laughs> for us to face the computer. Let's in turn turn it around and put the light on the other side yeah. so it's in our face. Tips it's a small little thing, right? You. Makes a huge difference. That small little adjustment. Thanks so right. much for that, Christine. Never again. Light behind us, Fred. Never again. <laughs> 6 54 no. is the time. A live look at a very wet Clemson campus on a Tuesday.